Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, reaction video. I got to talk to Riley, but we I are uh, watching live. I wonder how he real live the game. Match. So I know that he was extremely sad yesterday after beating his Relay. friend Pedro. Which, Relay. You know, Relay. once again, there's gotta be mixed feelings there. But as always, he um, in I know Relay play yeah, really good, really good. And so, um, before get a lock in the middle, by uh, right now you can see the exactly in the sure champions, the very famous YouTuber, and also we have. Yeah, he be shocked, my friend. Maybe just after seeing and that one card, he realized that Riley's using a deck that okay, he let's not enjoy expected. the game. He probably That's knew queen. just off those skeletons that Riley was gonna play this pig's earthquake queen. deck, and maybe he's just not prepared for that deck in this situation. Oh my goodness! Speaking of shaking your it's head, wow! Wow! Beautiful! His tower to get all the way to 1927. Terrible oh. interaction for him right there. Mm. And I mean, he's he's gonna be able to clean up the RG nicely, but that is just too much damage to give up. One minute into this game, Skelly. No Skelly. Skelly not gonna connect. Roll delivery on the left to clean the ghost. I'm watching Queen. So knows Riley doesn't have roll delivery. No cycle and low like she pops the ability early, predicting the ice spirit. Oh wait 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 wait. Now up elixir. Now if if he has up, he have uh, enough uh, uh, elixir and he drop. He yeah, will yeah, drop a single right as I am. How to defend? And I mean, if you're with a lot with the ice spirit with a skeleton in the bleed for sure. I would just go RG at the bridge, and there we no, go. He finally goes RG at the bridge. Maybe he's trying to save yes. up for this lightning, exactly. perhaps? One shot, please. Wow. Almost wow. got RG to no hits there. RG going to one in the inversion. No Archer Queen ability strong. back in cycle yet. Fisherman's going to take care of this. Looking at this matchup overall, I mean, we saw a similar one yesterday where Muhammad Ali was going to actually win even versus the Monk version. So I would say here there's definitely going to be a little bit of an advantage for Riley, but looking at the uh, tower edge, and in God, it's going to be tough in order for Riley to uh, come back for, uh, and uh, uh, really get some damage here, especially versus the Lightning. Ones in the okay. The, another difference is this And lightning. now I, you know, I don't know how to win. Last time there was fireball for the pigs, but and in this situation, I maybe Lightning is even better. Guy like really is off the board. A quick... Yeah, you have to think because of that massive damage advantage that the Lightning is probably going to help out quite a bit. But I mean, especially yeah, with these pro players, every everything I've ever been taught doesn't mean anything because of how well they play it. Getting the tower right. down to 1500 is Riley on sub and the Archer Queen able to be taken out Lightning? early. Sub electing to kind of go split lane pressure now that he has Riley's stronger tower all the way down to 1909. Hey, what, 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 what's what's happening with the sub? Why drop the Ryzen on the uh, on right side? On the left side? What do you mean? Is not reciprocating much. Oh, I don't think he's good. This tower don't is think down to 614 in overtime. Riley Why? is so close. Yeah, so getting aggressive going in with a bar barrel to help with his lining HP of the evil RG. No, 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 no. If Sub can defend this, he has a chance, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it. What the hell, Sub? Taking game number one, recognizing my opponent. What the hell? Why you drop a single Ryzen on the left? No idea. Control in your fire. Hit the percent ham game. Really good. Not only just because of the fireball spell, but also no lock. The barbarian barrel not able to damage. Let's go, game number two. Up and relay. Riley now three and O oh on the world final stage. That uh, impressive. Gotta say, gotta feel real good if you're Riley Hero. or one of his many many fans. And Miner and Barry with a and Riley with a fisherman and arrows. Very interesting. Um, I'm going to have to wait and see a couple more cards here before I try and call out a deck. But looks like Riley might actually be playing Goblin Giant Pekka. Very aggressive. I, I actually hate it when I play against this deck and they play in this way. Just so aggressive. And they have no intentions of breaking through this push <laughs> yeah. simply just to get the Evo Goblin Giant cycle. Uh, yeah, just getting obnoxiously aggressive. Riley choosing. I, I can't tell if he's going to elect to defend it. He's not. And that's mm. going to allow Sub to get a, a lot of chain damage to get in the tower all the way down to 25-14. But I mean, really, you talked about it. You, it doesn't matter that you're giving up 500 HP or 600 HP, whatever it is. You're just trying to set yourself up for that very next push. 
Ambrose drop it down on the Goblin instead of popping the ability right away because he wants to use the ability on Tower. Really nice log from Sub though, knocking back the monster at the very last second. Now the ability has no way to get damage on Tower. Bomber matching up nicely, going to be able to take out the Doctor. Ooh, mm, Riley going to be Mega Knight. Gonna be running. Ah, there we go, Mega another Zion, one Mega of those Knight. six, five, sevens. Goblin Giant, Goblin Stein, plus the Mega Knight. A very, very heavy deck. Sub, uh, Sub has a lot of cheap answers to this. We're going to see how Riley is going to really break through all of this. Mega Knight on one side, Evo Goblin Giant on the right. Fisherman does pull the Miner. He does not have enough Elixir to go arrows on the Goblins, though. A little bit aggressive. You can see Riley's not super happy with how that went. Now Sub's going to be up a lot of damage. And now Riley does not have Evo Goblin Giant in cycle either. In order for Riley to win this, he really needs to get that Evo Mega Knight plus Evo Goblin Giant combo. Yeah, and I really like how he's splitting this. The Goblin Stein going into the unhealthy lane of Riley, and the Doctor going to the left. And right there, Evo Bomber not trying to get chip damage on the tower, instead trying to get chip damage on the Doctor. Really smart, a lot of awareness shown from some. Once again, another split lane push. The rage just drop on the Mega Knight. The Gob Sign ability is not popped yet. Maybe he's deciding it's better not to. The defense on the left hand side is solid though. And once again, Sub is just controlling. But we saw this yesterday. We saw, um, you know, control decks doing really well in the single, maybe even in double. But once it gets to overtime, once Riley can get that Evo Gob Giant plus Evo uh, Mega Knight together on the same push like this. Um, it's going to be a different story. Yeah, sometimes it really is just as simple as, okay, I have all these heavy, heavy troops. Yeah. Let's play as many troops on the board as possible and make uh, it difficult for my opponent to keep up. So far, we need one more cannon. Up, but we know how difficult it is. And right there, Rage oh, plus wow. the Goblin Curse going to take everything out nicely. But the Bomber going to help out quite a bit. But this is still going to get to the tower even with the log. And there we go. Getting the tower all the way down to 2,000. Riley screaming back into the match. Uh, Only me. down 380 yeah. HP at this point. The Goblin Curse really changed that thing. This triple spell combo. If he can break through by playing Rage plus Curse on yes. perhaps like goblins to spawn even yeah. more goblins with the evil yeah. goblin offense, yeah. the game changer. But once again, Riley is not able to get this Mega Knight Evo and Goblin Giant together. He keeps having each of the oh, yeah, can separate. See if you get them both, it makes it just so much more difficult to get yeah, it really is as simple as Sub is just putting these uh, these baby pushes. He's not trying to get like these crazy, crazy pushes, not trying to overwhelm completely. Instead, he's just trying to get, you know, the miner on top of the crown tower or the goblins to apply pressure, force out these weird offensive pushes from Riley, doing a great job so far. And again, picture perfect defense from Sub. And it's all about the evil ice spirit. That one elixir card really just stalls the push completely. And now Good Sub poison. finally finds a moment to attack. He goes for the minor pre-log, pre-poison with the evil bomber locking on tower. This is massive damage. But because of how crazy this deck is, this game is not over. Here's the push, double Mega Knights, plus a Gob Giant on the board. But look at this poison power. I know, what is he doing? Yeah, poison coming down on defense, even with the arrows on offense. It's not really okay, going to be enough. I need to see more, more, more. I don't think he's going to be able to do so. I really think Sub has this locked up. Last ditch effort from Riley. Evo Goblin Giant at the bridge. Curse and arrows on the Goblin Stein with a rage, but it's simply not enough. Riley knows it's over. He calls the good game. Sub taking game number two. Sub. <laughs> as soon as Sub hits an 0 1, he's like, oh, you know. I, good. We will have the last game. Sub -Zero. Stop calling Sub. I'm Sub Zero. All right. Let's go. Game number three. One vote for sub. Um, hi game before he picked the uh, random deck really good. Trying to hang on. First three on the first matches game he, of the world finals for him. Picture like, perfect lost. defense. Picture perfect offense. Struggled a little bit in that game number two. Sub has now used Poison, Log, Lightning, and Bar Barrel for his spells. He might be in a little bit of a more awkward spell situation. We see the Rage come out, maybe Sub with some sort of interesting Lava Rage deck or maybe even a Packa deck with a Flying Machine in it. But whenever I see Flying Machine, I think Lava 100 times out of 100. Uh, no Royal Recruits for you? I mean, wait, you might be on to something. This Flying Machine plus Cage, I mean, that does think Royal Recruits. He, I think he might, uh, 
Called my bluff here, perhaps. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Still could go either way. And there we go. We're both no, wrong. No. Look at that. It's not lava. Run right here. Okay. Right, so, right now, no backhand. Run that. right here. No, 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 you can call me out together. We die. All right. Yeah. So, not going to be the case. I am damage. correct. And Riley on the opposite end. Evil Lee. I know. It was shoes. Bomber, Baby Dragon. Dragon. the first time we've seen Baby Dragon. And Lightning. All, all World Finals. I think it might be, and I'm glad. Like, what kind of bad luck? We push and try to relay. Run right uh, You don't. Like we raise and golden kick. Where? You have Pekka. You oh, have we need gas right now. Good. It's tough sometimes. Okay. But I'm, I'm, he's got baby dragon and I'm bomber for splash. Benny, Matter. Wait, 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 yeah, and phenomenal timing. As, as simple, as easy as it looked from Sub to wait for the Bandit to dash on top of the tower, but still not allow the Bomber from Riley to get any shots on, on the Crown Tower on the left side. That, it's, it's super simple, but you need to do it. You're always saving yourself damage. If you put the arrows just Last time, really like lightning. Riley, you're going to place it when the Bandit is dashing. Oh. It's still going to be alive. It would still be chipping away at the tower right now. Oh. Instead, pretty easy defense for him. So fascinating here. Right 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 the big Evos in the back. Recruits for sub. Flying, flying for machine. Lightning, flying Who machine. Is going to win this bridge battle? I'll keep flying maybe rather the Q flying machine first. No, Ram Riders. Stop the connect with the tower. Bandy. So far, we just have to see what this counter tech is all about for. Rishu. We have received. Received. back to another round of recruits. Okay, that's really stalling everything out on both sides. Riley game. can't be happy with how this shaped out. The Pekka is healing itself a little bit, but it's not Fla enough to break through. Maybe a second Pekka can do it. No, I mean, at this point, it feels uh, like we're going to see okay, a second set of recruits. Not going to be the case, though. It's going to be the Evo God wow. Gage. And that's going to be able to <laughs> fully <laughs> take it out. Not lightning so bad. the lightning. But I mean, the that bat. feels like Brown Rider right, right now. I don't think you can play the lightning. Good timing. No, wait for the small day. Instead of trying to counterattack immediately, he wants to cycle back to recruit. The 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 Wizard, and now he can get the Evo recruits plus Rain Rider plus Rage yet again. And we know from experience now that Riley has a very hard time of stopping it. Here it goes. Yeah, I'm mean, right, just in full control. Riley going to place Pekka down to the Pekka, but that's going to be a dash plus shots. just a regular hit, getting the tower down to 10-19. Flying machine still alive. On both lanes for Ryer for Pekka. sub. Lost. It's just whether or not uh, he can defend this uh, big, big push incoming XP. from Riley. Evil Bomber is locked on tower right hand side. The yeah. Pekka is getting taken out, but he's protecting the Bomber. It is awesome. Oh, wait, 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 this game is all of a sudden very close. What's the pick? Uh, what the bandits? With the counter attack left side yet again. This offensive ice wizard going to apply a little bit of pressure, forcing out the baby dragon on defense as well as the bar barrel sub. Just getting ready. Both players triple elixir underway. This is, I mean, this is make it or break it time. Raymond to the right side wants to go off lane of Pekka, spamming a lot on the left. It's time to lightning run right there. Wait, we, we need to run right there. Connect to this. Connect this. But it connects no matter what. Right here, Evo Good. Gobcage going to be able to put in a little bit of work, but he does get the lightning out in time. Can he get the recruits down? No. Oh. He's going to get the dash, getting the tower down to 619. And Riley Tom, that time to run right there. Fanta, we need a lot. Fuck, we need to run right there. Wait, Here's the Rain Rider. Will it get we need to run right there. The cage does we need a lightning. And sub should have an opportunity run right there. Here it goes left side again. Lightning. Rain Rider not going to be able to get it. Will he give it to, uh, it to the tower? No, 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 no. We did perfectly. Right there, bridge, bandit. That Pekka means nothing on the left side. Where run right there. We need lightning. And so lightning does not have a big spell. Pekka's left towards tower as well. Lightning does drop, the cage gets taken out, the rage drops, and Riley wins it! What the Riley game? takes the win of the game? What the game? HP left on the That's tower, far. stays alive, gets the damage in. What the game? Oh my god, you know, block it, block it, you know, it's not, not going to make crazy. an offensive push, but if it blocks it, no. you're, not, you're not getting 